Hey everyone, James Frame from EFI again, um, just presenting some new stuff for you that you're going to see coming out. Um, it's a product called EFI uh, IQ or IQ EFI. Um, it's a web-based application. Actually, it's cloud-based. Um, <clears throat> where we're going to put a bunch of new applications that customers may use with their equipment and their fiery controllers um, to control their business. And um, I'm going to show that to you right now live. You can see on my screen, uh, all, really all I typed up here was um, iq.efi.com, which brings you to the screen. Um, <clears throat> so this is where anybody can just go and sign up. All right. So a customer who has fiery controllers connected to engines who want access to this cloud, and I'm going to show you why they want access. This is all they got to do. Just create an account. Okay. Once they create an account and authenticate themselves, um, then they'll be able to go in and connect their machines and their fiery controllers to the IQ, and it'll look something like this. So I'm going to pick that I'm a cut sheet user, and <clears throat> they're going to come up to this main screen here. This is the EFI IQ dashboard. And what you're looking at is kind of a summary of what's happening in my shop right now today. I have a total of 21 devices that are online. Four of them are in an error state and 10 of them are offline. Um, there's 361 jobs that have been printed so far today. This is, this is current, what's happening right now, okay? And you can see that on this dashboard, what we have really is groups, okay? Now you can set this up two ways. You can set it up as groups, um, where inside of the group are the devices, or just have all the devices become their own individual square here. Uh, in this case, you can see we have different groups. There's five devices in this one. There's five devices in this one, five devices here, six devices here. And they're grouped according to the type of equipment they are. That's, that's why these are that way. Um, again, on this main screen, um, you can see in this group of printers, 91 jobs have been printed for a total of 3210 impressions. And it, it's, it, it splits those between black and white in color. If I want more detail, I can just click inside the group and it shows me more detail about each machine, the IP address, how many impressions, jobs printed, whether they're offline or online. And if I want to get even more detail, I can click on the actual printer and now you can see it's telling me the information about the toner, what paper are in the drawers, the percentage of drum life. There's just a plethora of information in here. Look at this. Engine utilization. Now, this is by date range. So if I want to look at it for the last seven days, right? Now I can see the number of hours I've printed versus being idle, versus being in an error mode, versus being disconnected. And my job details, I can look at canceled jobs, printed jobs, I can unselect these, which changes my, my scale. I can look at what substrate's being used on these jobs, what type of substrate was used. Um, here's the impressions again. Again, these are all by date range, so I can change those date ranges and get different results. And if I click right here, I can get actual information about the fiery, the unique ID, the MAC address, uh, the serial number. Um, you can look at what uh, printer installed options there are on this unit, what um, option packages are installed on the fiery. I can look at the paper catalog. I can look at the calibration sets on this fiery, installed patches, and custom color profiles. So I can look at a lot of detailed information about my groups and my fireys and uh, the engines themselves. And everything that I just showed you on that dashboard, if I go back to the dashboard here, um, you can go in greater detail. So for instance, um, inside of our cloud, we have applications that are both paid for and free. So what I just showed you, the dashboard's free. So is EFI Notify, so is EFI Insight. Color Guard and EFI Manager are the only two applications right now that you have to pay for. Otherwise, a customer could simply go to the website, sign up, attach their devices, and they'll get this view that you're seeing right now. And they'll get this other view, Insight. So Insight's really a way to manage your productivity in the shop. I can Again, by date range, I can start doing some details here and say, look, I want to look at productivity for only these two engines. And I'm going to go into my widgets and I'm going to make sure I've got selected the items I want to look at. That looks fine to me. Okay. 
Uh, actually, I'm going to take off the ink usage because this is not an ink machine, so I don't care about ink usage. And now you'll see printer utilization. Again, we can see jobs that have been printed by date range that I selected up here. Let's go by 30 days. Okay. Uh, let's go by last seven days. I can see total impressions, job by source. How are these jobs being submitted to the fiery? The, you know, 98 are coming from Command Workstation. 52 came from Hot Folder from a print driver. Jobs by media. Um, I can look at who sent the jobs, by what user, who's sending jobs. Total number of sheets. Jobs by finishing. I can see jams, paper jams by media. It'll tell me which paper jams occurred on what kind of media. Uh, jobs by workflow. If you have certain workflows in your customer's environment that they should be utilizing. All right, so there's... Again, a lot of detail in here, and if I needed to have this in the report, I can go to my job log and I can export this job log, which will give me all the details about the jobs. So that's Insight, and it's completely free. So the other tool I want to show you is right here under Compare. I can compare by adding again engines. I can compare these against each other. I'm going to I'm going to delete that one. Just pick one at a time when you're comparing so you can add them. And I can compare, you know, each one of these, who's printing the most jobs, you know, with the most impressions, error events. Look, I can get details about the errors in these machines. Okay? It tells you input tray was empty, offline, no paper, right? So this is a management tool, how to manage my production workflow in my shop. All right? So the other free feature that a customer has is EFI Notify. So if I'm a production shop manager and I'm in charge of production, uh, oh, and I noticed on this browser version it doesn't work. Yeah, I have, you have to really should be using Google Chrome. But Notify allows me to uh, set up uh, notifications that I want to know about. For instance, I want to know if my machine is in an error state for more than 30 minutes. Um, please send me an email. It will send whoever sets this EFI notify up an email that the machine has been out of paper for 30 minutes so that they can address it and get the machine running again. Uh, same thing with reports that I showed you in Insight. You can set up notify to have those reports sent to you automatically on a time frame. All right. So uh, there's a bunch of new applications that we're going to be releasing that a customer can purchase to help them with other tools like managing their fiery controllers and EFI Color Guard, which I will do in a separate presentation. But just understand that the IQ itself is free. Customer can sign up to get a username and a password, and then they have um, the ability to use Insight and Notify and see their entire shop production for free. All right, so uh, if you guys need more help on this, go to EFI.com, type in I EFI IQ to go to the landing page or go to the EFI Learning Center to learn more about it, or reach out to me and I, I can give you more detail. Thanks guys, happy selling.